Hello, welcome for another series of our video presentation. This time we will be in chapter 5 and we will be looking at cell growth and division. In the first lesson, we will look at the cell cycle. So some of the things that we need to know here is the meaning of what a cycle is and this will help us really understand what we are going to discuss. The key concept here is that cells have a, a distinct phases of growth, reproduction, and normal functions. So cells carry out these three distinct phases as they live through the cycle. The main ideas include the cell cycle has four main stages. The cell divide at different rates and that cell size is limited, which means that the cell has a specified size that is normally limited to a specific size. We will be looking at the first part here, or the first main idea, which is the cell cycle has four main stages. So we will look at these four main stages, but before we go into that, we need to actually understand what a cycle is. Take yourself back to your home or think about it. Think about uh, many of life little, little chores such as sweeping and dusting, which are quite satisfying and rather fun. Washing dishes by hand, however, is never fun. So washing dishes by hand is never fun. No one will enjoy doing this, especially men, but I know even ladies don't enjoy this at all. So, not only this, even washing the clothes is also another example of a problem. So, because of this, some person or a clever person made the dishwasher. So a clever guy came up and made a dishwasher. Why did he make a dishwasher? He made a dishwasher because he knows that people have problem washing dishes. So this handy invention socks so this one socks. So first you put the plates in. It soaks them. After soaking them, it washes them. After washing them, it rinses them. After washing, it rinses. rinses the plates. After rinsing these plates, the machine has cleaned your, your, your plate or your utensil to a sanitary sparkle. It looks clean and it's also healthy. After this, of course, you will use the plates again. Used. After being used, they will become dirty again and you will take them back to the machine and this process begins again. So this is just but an example of a cycle. So a cycle uh, basically means activities that are repeated once and again. So let's look at what we mean by cell cycle. The cell cycle. The cell cycle. So the cell cycle has four main stages. But before this, 
scientists did not know that these were really four stages. So we will be looking at how scientists came actually to think that these are four stages when previously they didn't know that these are four stages. So if you look carefully, you will see the four stages here. And this is the gap one synthesis or S stage. We have the gap two and we have mitosis. One, two, three, four. This is one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. So the cell cycle is the regular pattern of growth. The cell cycle is the regular pattern of growth. The regular pattern of growth DNA duplication DNA duplication DNA duplication and cell division and cell division that occurs in eukaryotic cell the rocas in eukaryotic cell so this one occurs in eukaryotic cells and not in pro prokaryotic cells so figure 1.1 I mean, figure 1.1, .1, as you see it there, will show you all the stages. There is synthesis, there is gap, two together, make up what we call interface. So, if you have this, this is what we are calling interface. So, interface runs from gap 1 through to gap 2. The cell cycle is the regular pattern of growth as we have seen. So the remaining part is mitochondria. I mean uh, not my, 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 mitosis rather. The remaining part is mitosis and as you can see mitosis also has its own subdivisions so that it's easy for you to comprehend and understand this, the stages as they go by. So the stages of the cell cycle get their name from early studies of cell division. Scientists observe, I mean scientists' observations were limited by the microscope at that time. Actually, they are the the scientists. Uh, were restricted by microscope because what microscope could see is actually what they would talk about because the microscope they had that time were not fully developed in fact they were just using the light microscope so they could see only two faces they could see this one which is interface and then they could see the, the cell going through mitosis. So they could only see those two. So this, they were saying when the cell is not active, it is in the interface, phase, in, in, interface stage. So they would say this one now is interface. During interface, they would believe the cell is not inactive. And during mitosis, the cell is <coughs> active. So
So with improved technologies and later tools allowed scientists to detect that copying of DNA or DNA synthesis actually occurs. So since they still could not see anything happening during the other parts of interface, scientists named the periods between mitosis and synthesis gap one. So because they could see nothing here, they call this gap one. You don't see anything, but here you are seeing DNA replicating. So you call this gap one and gap two. Of course, after this, we have gap two, gap one and gap two. Eventually, scientists learned that during interface, cells carry out their normal functions. They later came to discover that actually cells carry out their normal functions. Cells grow and carry out their normal functions and replicate their organelles and replicate their organelles as they prepare for cell division. So let's see what happens in G1. In G1 or GAP1, the first stage of the cell cycle, these are the things that happen. So during G1, the cell increases in size. The cell increases in size. So it increases in size. That is the first thing that happens. And organelles increase in number. And organelles increase in number. Increase in number. The reason why they are increasing is because the cell is pre preparing itself to for cell division. So just like it's dangerous for you to start running a marathon without eating, even the cell has to be prepared. So a cell spends most of its time in the G1 phase. A cell spends most of its time, most of its time in gap one stage, in the gap one stage. Though this differs from cell to cell, although the length of these stages varies by cell type. So depending on the cell type, depending on the cell type, depending on the cell type. So different types of cells will stay there for a specific period. So G1, during this period, the cell must pass a critical checkpoint. The cell must pass a critical checkpoint. The cell must pass through a critical checkpoint. Just like if you are going through an airport, you have to go through thorough check. Even the same thing happens to the cell before they 
enter this journey, they have to be critically checked for any defects. If there are any defects, then they may not proceed with this journey. So just that it, it would be, I mean, uh, uh, for instance, most animal cells need nutrition, adequate size, and relatively undamaged DNA to divide successfully. So they will need one, they will need adequate size, needs for a cell to divide. Example, this is just an example, animal cell. So for an animal cell, it will need adequate size. Adequate size, so it has to be of a specific size and relatively abundant DNA and relatively and relatively undamaged rather undamaged DNA so the DNA has to be intact to divide successfully so for it to divide successfully it has to be undamaged and so forth so they need specific signals from other cells telling them whether more cell division is needed or not so the that is what we are calling critical checkpoint so everything has to be checked first and after that they also need specific signals from other cells because uh, you can't be dividing and you don't know where you are going maybe you are not needed there so they also need specific signals they also need specific signals from other cells they will need specific signals from other cells on telling them whether to divide or not so in the next video we'll be looking at what happens in the synthesis stage and we'll proceed like that until we'll be done